Welcome to Chelsea Football Club China, a place where you get all updates, transfers, and the likes concerning Chelsea Football Club. Kindly subscribe if you've done so. Thank you. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Thanks. You guys, according to Spanish outlets AS, Chelsea, Man City, and Man United decided against a move for Felix due to his bad experience at Chelsea. Even Mauricio Pochettino said that he watched the Portuguese international before he put pen to paper before adding the affairs of the Chelsea team. So he said, and as I uh, quote, as mentioned, he only scored four goals during his brief sprint at Stamford Bridge. His lackluster form saw him one sky high reputation falling. Even for them, put off the Premier League rivals who were contracted by his agent, Jorge Mendes, about a possible move. Atletico Madrid were happy to part ways with Felix again this summer due to his poor relationship with manager Diego Simone, which is why he was allowed to join La Liga rivals Barcelona. If you remember the guy's performance when he was with the Blues, when he signed in the January transfer window on loan to Stamford Bridge, was so, so, so poor. There has been claims that Felix took a huge wage cut to make his dream move to back out to the attacker with hand just 342000 this season, as per a report in the Daily Mail in September. Atletico are hoping that the Portuguese star will reignite his form this season so they can sell him for a fee in the region of 80 million euros next summer. But Pochettino has reinstated again that he is not he's not going to sign the player. Although Joao Felix said he loved to return back to the Blues, but Pochettino has also told him he is not going to be part of his plans. So we don't think Chelsea will be going back anytime soon for Joel Felix. So kindly comment down in the comment section if you think Pochettino and Toboli were right to have not put pen to paper and make Felix deal permanent. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you.